Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to pair a DualSense controller with the iPad with the M2 chip. This is the iPad Pro 4th generation 11 inch. And today I'm going to show you how to make sure to get game controllers working with the iPad using iOS 16. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest iPad tutorials. So all we need to do is to find the settings menu here. So we're going to go to the settings app on your iPad. And then we're going to scroll up and then we're going to go to Bluetooth here. And this is going to show all of the Bluetooth devices that are in pairing mode. And because the DualSense controller is a Bluetooth controller, all we need to do is to put this into pairing mode. So what we're going to do is to press the share button here first. And we're going to hold that down and then we're going to press the home button. I'm basically going to wait until this part starts flashing. So you can see that started to flash. And as soon as that started flashing, then this DualSense wireless controller started appearing under other devices. So if I tap this now under other devices, that's going to start a pairing motion. And now this light has turned from blue to a solid orange. And that means that we're now connected. So what I'm going to do is to go to one of my game emulators. And this is PSP working great on iPad OS with the M2 chip and all the controller functions are working correctly. So now I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorials like this on my YouTube channel. If you want to find out how to get game emulators working on iOS 16, then please make sure to follow the link in the description for my video tutorial. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.